Welcome to MarcusG.TV. I'm Chef Marcus Giuliano. I'm a chef on a mission. Jamie joins me today. Hello. And uh, let's see. Let's talk about healthy holidays. Let's uh, talk about gifts, right? Gifts. gifts for the holidays. But it's New Year's, you know, basically, you know, worldwide. The interesting thing about New Year's is people have New Year's resolutions. Yes. And their resolutions are to usually... Well, most people always put in there... Get healthy. Get healthy. Yep. I want to lose weight. I want to run. I want to do this. I want to cook healthy. I want to eat healthy. Most are focused around health. So let's talk about gifts that can make an impact for health. Now here are some of our top healthy gifts to give. Now keep in mind some of these are not cheap. Um, some of these you might want to buy for yourself and treat right. yourself. Right. Because it's important, I think, to also take care of yourself through the holidays or give people suggestions of things that they can buy you, right, as well. Right. So now here's the thing. People spend so much money on clothes, mm -hmm. on cars, mm -hmm. on going out to eat, yes. on all these things, on Starbucks. You know, sometimes people go twice a day. They're spending over 10 bucks a day, a day. at Starbucks. But yet, when it's time to buy a $400 blender right. to make their smoothies easier and make them healthier and improve their quality of life, they balk at that. And they're like, wow, no, I need to save up for that. No, you need to stop going to Starbucks right. for a month, okay? That's literally what it is. It's Starbucks for a for month, a month and a half. <laughs> right. Stop going there. Cut, cut out one dinner a week that you're going out. Save the money because you you already have the money, basically. Most likely you have the money yes. somewhere. All right, so top gifts. Um, I would say everybody should have a blender. Yes. And What are the best kind of blenders and what do you suggest? Great question. So I recommend, we recommend a Vitamix. Yes. Those are $450. You can get refurbished ones now for under 300. There's nothing wrong with a refurbished one because um, chances are you're going to use it and it's going to be in not new condition. Uh, within no time. Right. So the refurbished ones come with uh, the same warranties. Warranties, right. Yes. You know, and they give you a new bowl and they make it look, you know, a new blender top and they make it look nice and it's really, it looks like a new machine. However, somebody else had had it or it was a floor model or somewhere, somewhere it was returned and rebuilt, uh, factory rebuilt. Just like a used car. People buy used cars. So it, don't think of a used blender. It's not like you're going to have to buy used carpet, right? Because right. you can't buy used carpet because that, that's not, that's disgusting, used right. carpet. <laughs> so don't, don't look at it as something like that. It's, it's still a piece of machinery. That and a Blendtec. Blendtecs are around the same price. Mm. Blendtec also has a phenomenal rebuilt, refurbished program that you can get these. So you can get a refurbished ones for under $300. Now, we've had ours for 12 years and counting, 11 yes. years and counting. We must use it 10 times a day. Sometimes. Sometimes 20 times a day. Mm -hmm. Sometimes 30 times a day. We've never had a problem with ours. We bought ours uh, 11 years ago. It's a commercial one. The commercial one and the home one uh, is the same unit, basically. They just they give the home user more of a warranty because they know a chefs are going to abuse them, drop them, kick them, cut the cords by accident, things like that. So they say, okay, since you chefs are a little more abusive and it's in a commercial environment, right. we're going to shorten your warranty down. Now, ours has been abused. Definitely been abused. <laughs> Um, 11 years, 12 years and counting, they're basically paying us to use this machine now. That's how cheap it is. That's how cheap. It's less than a, a quarter of a cent a use right now. Okay, less of a quarter of a, a penny. Let, you know, less than a half a cent a use because we've used it so much. So when you're buying, people need to understand that when you're buying something of quality, it's going to last. If you're going to go out and buy one of those other so-called blenders that, that make, that, you know, there's a infomercial and it looks like a high powered unit and they're spending all this money and this and that and you get it home you spend a hundred bucks you get it home and it doesn't perform it might perform the first couple times but after right. a month you're like wow i've really outgrown this you've just thrown out a hundred bucks that was a hundred bucks you could have put into something that you could have grown into right and we we're taught this throughout our life you know buy things that you can grow into buy a bicycle that you can grow into right just buy the blender you can grow into yes other great gifts are a juicer. Juicer. And juicers range in a bunch of different 
uh, uh, price ranges, you need to figure out what type of juicer you want and what you're, what you're juicing. What you're juicing is really crucial. There's three different types of juicers. There's an auger, which is a slow speed, which looks like a basically a meat grinder, which juices basically wheatgrass. Goes great in that. There's a champion, which is a masticator, which has a torpedo-like blade on it with um, torpedo-like, looks like a torpedo almost, and it has these like teeth on it, these teeth blades, and that spin around at a high speed. That won't juice wheatgrass. That won't juice kale that well. And so there's certain things that just won't go in certain juices. Make sure you do your research. I and what's the third one? The third one is oh, a centrifuge. Centrifuge, which does green leafy green leafy stuff really well. Yes. It won't do wheatgrass. So if you're buying something for wheatgrass, you cannot, you need to buy the white or the right juicer. Um, fruits, veggies, it's all different. Okay. I suggest, I like to send people to discountjuicers.com. I okay. think he has a, I don't, we don't get any money for that. We don't, you know, they don't, he doesn't advertise with us, but I think he has a great website and he goes through the differences and he always has his top three juicers yes. and it's a great reference um, uh, tool to get on the discount juicer. So go there, check out what he's saying. Really, really good. Um, now beyond that. So there's lots of other things, right? Lots of other lots things. Lots of other things. Like, um, you know, good knives. Good, good, knives good knives are so important. I think if you're, you know, a cooker, you know, you, you cook and you like to cook and you're a chef you like and the you kitchen. like the kitchen. Whether you're a professional or not. But, right. Good knives make a world of difference. World of difference. In, world in of how easy it is for you as well as how, you know, your food will, will turn out. You always need the right tool for the right job. Mm -hmm. And that really starts with a, a good quality knife. Now, there's a couple different types of knives. Uh, the one being the German knife which is sharpened on both sides to come down to a V. And then there's something called a Japanese knife, mm. um, which is what I really like. And those are typically for right-handed or left-handed people. Sometimes the, sometimes are they're, they're for both ambidextrous, right or left. Um, but however, you can get really technical and get one that's just specifically for a right-handed person or one that's for a left-handed person. Um, these knives can be made of all different types of materials. Uh, you can expect to pay at least $100 and up per knife. But again, you're buying a knife that's that, going to last. It's going to last. It's going to last. And if you buy it from a reputable place, um, I like in New York City. And you can City, get them sharpened, so you can that's use what I was them say. over and over again. If you buy it from a reputable place, if you go like actually to the, a good kitchen store, a good knife, a good cutlery store specifically, a kitchen cutlery store, they're going to have somebody on premise who knows how to sharpen knives and can do that as a service for you. I like to buy my knives from Corinne, K-O-R-I-N, Corinne. K-O-R-I-N. In New York City, Corinne. And they have this master knife sharpener there. And you wouldn't know how much skill goes into sharpening knives. It takes a lot of years of apprenticing and really being able to do it with how he does it is a skill just beyond a skill. Mm. So when I buy a knife there, they'll give it a sharpen for me. Now, of course, it's brand new, but they'll touch it up and they'll, you know, they'll, they'll hone it up and they'll make it like really super sharp. And if you go to a store like that, that's what you're going to get. You're going to pay a little bit of extra money, but you're going to get... Now, I can go back for 25 bucks, and they'll sharpen a knife for 25 bucks. Now, 25 bucks is more than some people spend on a knife itself. Yes. <laughs> when, again, if you're going to spend 25 bucks, you're only going to be growing out of that knife very quickly. It's going to be very frustrating. It's not going to hold an edge as well. You're not going to want to... It's not going to be a pleasure to cut things. People say, you know, oh, cooking, you know, is hard, this and that. If you have the right tools, cooking is a pleasure. And really, the biggest pleasure is being able to eat your food and be able to enjoy your food, whether it's a juice, a smoothie, a full-out cooked meal, a right. holiday meal. That's the most important thing. So, so if you know somebody who is a chef who likes to cook, knives is a great option. Knives uh, are a great, great thing. Option. Now, you can you can also get knives, you know, at 50, for little pairing knives, like 50, 60 bucks and up. So you're not out the door at 100 bucks yet. But if, especially if you know somebody who's in culinary school, a family member, and you want to give them a gift, They'll never be upset with a with knife. A knife. Never, yeah. ever, ever, ever be upset with a knife. No. Trust me, I have, what, 50 knives? Yes. And if you bought me a new knife tomorrow, it'd be the be most happy. awesome thing ever, right? We yes. never have enough knives as chefs and cooks. Right. What's next, Jamie? So the next thing is uh, pans, right? Um, Good there's pans. lots of different pans out there to cook with. And uh, what is your recommendation on uh, on pans? I like a good stainless steel pan made of pharmaceutical grade stainless steel. Some stainless steel can be recycled. It can have different things in it. Uh, if you buy a high quality pan, again, you're going to spend about 70, 80 bucks, 100 bucks per pan. But again, you're buying a pan that is going to last a lifetime versus a pan that's 20 bucks with cheap Teflon on it. I avoid 
all Teflon to begin with. Teflon is not something that you want to consider healthy. It can out gases. There are better Teflons than others, more industrial grade ones that don't outgas as much or peel and flake. I was going to say they peel and flake, which gets into your food. That gets right? into your food. You don't, you, don't, you don't want to season your food with Teflon no. particles or <laughs> the Teflon not. gas. So stainless steel is definitely the way to go. High quality stainless steel. I personally like All Quiet has a great pan. Volrath has a great pan. Um, again, you get what you pay for. We yes. have some All Clads in our kitchen that we use again 20 times a night. We've done it for the last 12 years. And those pans that I got, I actually got at an auction that <laughs> were used already for several years. So these pans are 15 to 20 years old, these all clad pans. And you know what? They look great. They perform great. It's a, it's a really sturdy pan. I remember giving our friend Eric a gift a few years back for his birthday, and I bought him an all clad wok. Yes. And it costs us about 100 bucks, right? Yes. But this is something that people we'll are going to have yes. for a lifetime. And again, if you're buying for a chef, a cook, somebody in culinary school, these are things that they're, they're gonna greatly appreciate. And again, if you're buying for somebody who's just a home cook, you're making it that much easier for them to be able to cook and want to cook. Right. And the more you want to cook, the more you're gonna do it. The more you're gonna do it, the more you're gonna eat healthier food. Because yes. let's face it, if you're going out to eat, not many restaurants honestly care about your health. Right. When you go to a restaurant, it's about caring about them caring about their bottom line. So they're gonna put buy cheaper food, they're gonna buy um, uh, the fillers are going to buy foods that are prepared. There's going to buy foods that, from big companies that really don't care about the environment, about your health. So the more you cook, the more nutritious you're eating because you're not that stupid where you're going to add um, nasty chemicals and, and all these things to your food. In fact, you can't even buy half the stuff that they put in commercially produced food in a, in a grocery store. Right. You look at the food, you look at the ingredients, and you can't pronounce these chemicals, these these fillers, and these these artificial. This you could never go to the store and even buy those as an option. So, you, by forcing yourself to cook, you're going to cook with real foods to begin with. Right. So you're going to be eating healthier to begin with. Yes. Um, now let's talk about some stocking stuffers. Sure. So some quick stocking stuffers would be what uh, I mean. Definitely, you could put in some wooden spoons. Wooden spoons are so underrated, Jamie. They are. I love to use my the wooden spoons when I bake in the kitchen. Oh, it's just, and here's something people don't understand. When you take a metal spoon and you scrape a metal pan, you're again scraping metal on metal, which is going to get into your food, okay? Especially if you're cooking with high, high acidic foods and things like that that are reactive to aluminum. A wooden spoon is not going to do that. So, and wooden spoons you can get, you know, for five, six, seven bucks and up. You can get fancy and get a $20 wooden spoon, but again, a nice wooden spoon, a sturdy wooden spoon, is going to be a phenomenal stocking stuffer, and it's going to be a gift that's just going to last and last. They make bamboo spoons now. Yeah. They make all different sorts of types, even like little bamboo uh, cutting blocks, butcher blocks are awesome. Yeah. Um, people use, um, even we know somebody in our area that, that, that takes all different types of trees and wood makes, makes wood uh, blocks out of wood. Yeah. So there's really limitless. Now they say, the research has gone back and forth because they say, oh, well, wood's not that good. Wood is good. Use a plastic cutting board. Tried and true tested, the wood cutting boards are some of the safest boards out there. Um, and they're awesome. Same thing with the wooden spoons. They're just, it's an, they're just, it, there's a reason why wooden utensils have been around for so long. Because they work. They're wonderful. But you can get wooden bowls, wooden salad bowls, wooden mixing bowls. There's all types of things. Our suggestion is head over to an independently owned kitchen store. A supply Ch store. Check yeah. out the gadgets, whether you're going to a commercial for restaurants or to a nice uh, retail one for consumers. You're going to find a bunch of things. If I got a stocking stuffed with all sorts of gadgets for the kitchen, I'd be super excited. Right? Um, we're just talking about gadgets now. Now, if you, want, of course, <laughs> want to buy people stocking gift certificates, always make great ideas. Gift certificates or, or you know, even stuff like organic truffle oil, mm -hmm. things like that. Just, dried porcini mushrooms, there's a bunch of food items you can give as well. Good chocolate, you know, something like that. But this is just to focus on things to help people um, Become cook. healthier and cook, cook healthier. Cook healthier, yeah. When you're cooking, like I said, you're automatically cooking healthier anyway. So those are some of our top picks for, uh, for gadgets, um, for machines. For Christmas and uh, holiday gifts. Holiday gifts and, uh, you know, even to buy your own. Uh, even to buy yourself something. If you're going to buy yourself a gift, you're going to spend money. A lot of people say, well, I'm, you know, I splurge on myself for this and this and that, and this is what I want. Or if you're putting something on a list for somebody to give to you, these are all great ideas to uh, help you cook and be healthier. I'm Chef Marcus Giuliano. And Jamie. Thanks for watching, tuning in. Click. Like. Like. Subscribe. <laughs>
<laughs> Thanks. Have a wonderful holiday season. Thanks.